Hi, this presentation is an introduction to environmental studies and we are going to be talking about the multidisciplinary nature of environmental studies. This lesson talks about the definition and concept of environment, its types, the scope of environmental studies, followed by the multidisciplinary nature of environmental studies, and finally, its importance. What is environment? The word environment is derived from the French word environ that means our surroundings or the external conditions that surround us. It is thus defined as the surrounding conditions which could either be physical or biological, social, cultural, geographical and even political conditions that are affecting our lives, our nature, our behavior, our growth pattern and the development of all the living organisms including us. So as you can see it is the non-living factors that is directly or indirectly influencing the living factors or the biotic factors. Environment can be categorized into two basic types. The natural environment or the artificial or man-made environment. Talking about the natural environment, all the things that nature has made for us, for example, grasslands, forests, rivers, that consists of your natural environment whereas gardens aquariums ponds that human beings make for themselves or even for that matter farmlands that we use or croplands and artificial uh, farming all of that comes under man-made or artificial environment both type of environments equally influence our daily lives now, what is the scope of studying about the environment or in other words, what is the purpose of such study? Well, it gives us an understanding of the various problems that is related to pollution, natural resource depletion, population explosion and the other common problems and it helps us in finding solutions to the problems and it also helps us in managing them with better protection measures and by making people aware through their participation. Environmental studies also has a multidisciplinary nature. Multidisciplinary nature means it involves a lot of various different fields of study into one. For example, economics, political science, history, sociology and other such social sciences helps us in make, making people aware about the environmental issues. Similarly, mathematics, computer sciences helps us in creating models for better management of say earthquake prediction or cyclone prediction etc. with various algorithms. Life sciences like botany, zoology, biochemistry, microbiology is a very important part of environment because this is how we get to know more about organisms, the natural world and its interaction with the non-living world. Physical sciences like physics, chemistry, geology, oceanology also helps us study the various systems of environment better and with the help of engineering and technological advancements we can help better design such uh, maybe devices for example an air pollution control device and many such devices that helps us in controlling the pollution levels or maybe managing the loss of biodiversity etc. Now, what is the importance of environmental studies? Well, the study of environment helps us in obtaining various products from nature, also known as the productive value. As all the things that are derived from natural products like food, grain, clothing, timber or wood for furniture, etc. are some of the various items that are derived from nature. Similarly, the aesthetic or recreational value of nature or environment is also unparalleled. We all love going for hiking or visiting sea beaches and mountains, etc. Even national parks and gardens offer us a good aesthetic or a pleasing experience.
and finally the option value of nature option value means all the various options or all the various possibilities that we can gain from natural products for example a very famous sweetener that is found in the market nowadays called stevia it is basically nothing but a plant derived product which is a natural sweetener so you all know that having sugar is not good for health but any natural product is naturally a good alternative various drugs and medicines are also purposed from the natural products for example um various cures of diseases like cancer and all are also being explored in the natural world to know more about how the living and non living components interact click on the link above and if you find the contents of this channel informative and useful don't forget to click on like and subscribe and encourage us more thank you for watching